You know, I have half a mind to just record this and however many videos it takes, only upload one video a night. It's only going to take two, maybe three videos, but I don't know. I played through it once. I've beaten it. I beat it the first time I played through it, but um, my time at the end was insane. It was like 45 minutes or something like that because I died a lot. In addition, I mean, there's a reason I died a lot, but there's another reason too. Instructions. We're going to use the arrow keys, press upper Z or Y. I don't know why the Y button is available as a jump button. In fact, I'm not even sure if that actually works. I haven't tried it. These are our save points. These are our weapons. Uh, there are various other pink medallions that give us upgrades for our kitty. The double jump is back. And access cards. I don't know why we are no longer able to, sh no longer able to shoot lasers, but we're not. And like I said, I played it once, and so I got these achievements, but I didn't get these other ones. Rocket Robot, Rebound, The Friendly Robot, and Secret. So, who knows what they are. Let's start a new game. It is the year 20XDX. In Zeta Sector, Morgox the Unborn has conquered all of civilization and spread his dictatorship to every corner of the galaxy, ruling with an iron tentacle. But on Delos IV, a rebellion is forming. Ordinary people are rising up to stand against tyranny. Meeting by cover of night, they plot to cripple Morgox's fleet from within. The attack is set in motion simultaneously by Confederates working in Starducks across the sector. Meanwhile, in a completely different galaxy thousands of light years away, Robot wants Puppy. By the way, his tentacles are literally iron. That wasn't some kind of metaphor. Grix have... Not iron tentacles, but I think they have tipped tentacles. I'm not sure if they're iron tips or just claws. Just like the first game, we start off right next to Puppy. And we need a level 9 access card to get through that door. And just like also in the last game, we have no um, weapons or any other abilities except moving and jumping. Which means you have to get your way over to the first upgrade just by avoiding enemies. And considering how slow and annoying they are, it's an ordeal. This is my least favorite part of the game right here. Now we have the kitty cannon. Use X to throw the kitty at enemies. X literally throws kitty. And there's a couple things you need to know about the kitty cannon. One, when you first get it, it is super weak. Enemies take forever to die. Two, because when I first played this game, I thought when I shot the kitty at the guy, he would just die, and then he'd be dead. Uh, thing two, enemies always run the opposite direction that they were looking when you hit them with the kitty cannon. This is stupid. It is not what you would expect. If you threw a, you know, deadly weapon at someone, you would think that they would run the opposite direction. And so I have died a lot from the guy turning around and running into me, just like we saw, you know, a minute ago. You throw the thing, the kitty at him, and then they run the opposite direction they're looking. I will never remember that. I will die several times because I throw it at the guy, expecting him to run away from me, not the opposite direction he's looking. There's a kitty claw upgrade that we can't get because we don't have the double jump, so we'll ignore that. Here's another save point. Bonk. These robots that fly, they move faster than the little green guys, and there's another example of me dying because I looked the wrong way. Oh, I almost made it. Ha, gotcha. No! Ha, gotcha. No! Ha, gotcha. No! Oh, nothing is going according to plan right now. Get out of my way. Get out of... No! You know what? One of you die. Thank you. One of you green guys just die. Robot, go away. I am the only robot that we need. You are the ones who will be the... No, we're not gonna quote that. There. That's what I expect. Like a coward, I want to run up behind enemies and then have them run away from me when I hit them. Not run towards me suddenly for no reason. Alright, so I mentioned that kitty number one is 
that the kitty weapon is weak. Weak sauce. It is super weak sauce. Ow. Oh, you know what? Your magic little box is gone. So you're dead. Alright. Kitty fact number two was that the enemies will go the opposite direction that they're looking. Actually, I don't need to go back there, so yeah, let's go over here. Kitty fact number three is that you have to go and pick up the kitty each time you throw it. So you can end up getting an enemy, and then because he runs away... Ow. Kitty ends up in a place that's not good for kitty. You know. Poor kitty. Gotcha! Ha ha ha! You jerk. I'm just gonna get rid of these because I can. Dang it! Oh, I suck at this game. There we go. That's gone. That missed. That's gonna be gone. I just like getting rid of the enemies. Even though it's really a waste of time, you don't have to kill the enemies. Dang it! I keep forgetting how fast these guys are. Good, run away from me. And I missed. So now he's gonna come back at me. Um, the robots keep coming back an infinite number of times until you destroy their little box things that generate them. Alright, was there anything else I wanted to mention with Kitty? They run the opposite direction. They're total punks. Ow. You can lose Kitty. Not completely. If you uh, hit an enemy and the kitty run and that enemy runs with kitty into like that sucked so much i aimed so well right there they run into electricity like an electric field good you ran away from me hit you i can stay safely right there hit you stay safely right there i think that was it the whole running the opposite direction thing is just what gets me the most, and will end up killing me a number of times. See, like, right now I can't get that. Here, let's get this upgrade. The Hella Kitty. Hold up in the air to drift gently. And we've upgraded our claws, so now Kitty is more deadly. Unfortunately, Kitty is not twice as deadly. Kitty is just an arbitrarily determined incremental amount more deadly than before. However, with our Hella Kitty upgrade, we can now jump over here. Whee! And grab up key card access number two. Save. And let's see if I can do it this time. Ah. Oh, that's not the place that I was wondering about. Ooh, jump out of there. Get out of there. And you're dead too. And here we're gonna get kitty upgrade number three. So kitty is now another arbitrary increment more deadly than before. We already killed that box, so that robot will die faster. I love the little purple guys. These are probably the least deadly dudes in the game. Those little purple guys. Oh, I'm not gonna get by you that way. Oh! Save point, you're too far away. I need you to be slightly closer. Ooh, there's another upgrade hiding down there. I'm going to say the word ooh a lot right now. Boom! Ah! Run away! I love Little Robot when he's running away because he actually looks like he's running away. Can I... No, this room serves no purpose to me right now because I can't reach that. I almost always miss getting in there. Another save. We've got door number two. And here is boss number uno. If Kitty hits his shield, Kitty just uh, teleports back to you somehow. Ugh! Yes, made it. No, you hit me, you jerk. Dang it, how did I jump right into that? We're going to end up beating him right as time goes out. I keep getting the wrong spot. You jerk face, I hate you. Gotcha, right in the ball. I don't know why... Well, I guess you need to have more than one hit in order for this to be a challenging boss says the guy who keeps getting uh, destroyed by it. When you kill him, you get key card three, and that lets you get over here, and this guy is a total, total jerk. He just killed me again. Every time I came here to try and get across, he killed me. And because Kitty's all the way over there and you need the Hello Kitty to get across, you have to kill yourself there. 
I guess what you're supposed to do is hit him right as he turns around so that he runs back into the electricity, but, you know, I don't have a prayer of accomplishing that. How about you die? Thank you. How about you die? Ooh, that was... I want to say skill, but it actually wasn't. That was dangerous. Oh, how much... What are we on time? All right, let's see if I can pull that maneuver off. Not really well. Okay, we're going to start. I'm going to get here where it's safe, pause the game, and we'll start here next time. Bye-bye.